Samsung teases a waterproof and rugged Galaxy S4. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 to reach smartphones very soon. And we go hands on the Asus phone pad and tell you all about it. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you know how we roll. Thank God it's Friday. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off talking about the ASUS phone pad, you know, that Nexus 7 clone that can actually make phone calls. After spending some time with it at MWC, it's now in the hands of our own Anton D. Nagy, who has no problems in using a tablet to make phone calls, so make sure you hit the links in the description for his unboxing and full coverage. Then let's continue with Windows Phone. In a recent poll made by Forbes, 23% of the public said that they're considering a Windows Phone, along with other options, obviously. But it's kind of interesting because even though that 23% is kind of high, considering that iOS pretty much owns 40% of the market, Windows Phone currently only owns 4% of the market. So it makes you wonder, why do you have 23% of the people considering Windows Phone and only 4% actually buying it? How about if you leave us a comment down below, why have you not chosen a Windows phone for example. Now let's move over to Google Play. You know, we found it kind of odd that we noticed about a couple of weeks ago that both Facebook Home and the Facebook native application for Android actually updated themselves without your consensus or the Google Play consensus, which is kind of interesting if you consider what Facebook is doing to try to move Android away from the ecosystem, just like Amazon is doing with their own products. But, well, as expected, Google already made their move and they've recently updated the policies to Google Play where applications are not allowed to do this without the consensus of the Google Play Store in the typical way. You get the update notification and you update your application. So it begs to wonder, what is Facebook's next move? Now let's talk about the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. After spending some time with the Snapdragon 800 and 600 at CES, we've now been able to see just how powerful the Snapdragon 600 is. I mean, the HTC One and the Galaxy S4 in the US variants have very powerful processors and they're also very power efficient, but doesn't stop there. Qualcomm has just confirmed that they're now deploying or working on deploying their new Snapdragon 800 for future products to come in the fall. So if you thought your HTC One and Galaxy S4 were top notch, well, they won't be in the next couple of weeks. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, the Wall Street Journal has just discovered that Samsung is working on bringing a Galaxy S4 that's both rugged, waterproof, and dustproof. And they're apparently gonna call this the Galaxy S4 Active. And you know, it's kind of interesting because apparently the company is not working on bringing you an ugly Galaxy S4. Apparently they'll do the same thing that Sony did with the Xperia Z. They'll figure out a way to make the phone look exactly the same, but also be rugged, waterproof, and dustproof. And it's kind of interesting. I mean, we still don't know if this device will retail for a much more expensive price, but that leads me to the question of the day. Would you like a ruggedized phone? Meaning, would you even pay more money if you had the option of getting an HTC One, for example, in a ruggedized version? In my particular case, to be honest with you, I thought that in 2013, all phones were gonna be waterproof. I mean, think about it, watches are waterproof. A lot of products are already waterproof. We really don't understand why phones haven't figured that out as a mainstream, so leave us a comment down below. What would you want? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.